So if you've seen my review on the RX 3M 2020, you'll know that it was an amazing cube and was almost my main. Almost, but not quite. But now I have the Angstrom version, and here's what I said in the unboxing. Alright, so here is the Angstrom uh, RS3M 2020. Alright. Alright, here's the RS3M 2020 Angstrom version. And uh, just so you know, the original RS3M is a very good cube, especially for its price of $9. And I'm excited to see how this one turns. All right, first turn. Okay, nice. It does feel very lubed. Okay, so for this, the Angstrom, just Angstrom in general, they lube their... Uh, Pieces with Angstrom, Gravitas, Dignitas, and DNM37 on the pieces. And on the core, they put Lubical Black. Yes, you can see a bit of the Lubical Black right there. It says they put the spring compression to the, to the fourth setting. Yes, the fourth setting. As well as the Angstrom setup, it actually comes with a set of magnets that are added on top of the... Uh, Magnets are originally placed on the cube. Should I disassemble it? I don't want to, but I'm very curious on what's inside. Eh. Okay, I'll try not to touch the loop too much. And there we go. As you can see, there's magnets placed over the magnets that are originally placed on the cube. So yeah, which is, I'm very happy they did because I kind of felt like the RS3 M is very like the magnets were very weak. The RS3 M had like two weak of magnets that it almost you know that f those lockups that you get from a non-magnetic cube because the like the layers are not aligning from the magnets. I was almost getting it from this, so that's why I'm so happy this has the uh, extra set of magnets put on this cube. But let's do a solve. Okay, let's see. This is actually my first solve of the day. Why do I keep recording videos without like warming up? I should do that. <sighs> okay, this is not a good one. Oh no. Wait. This is definitely the first try. Oh, okay. <sighs> Could have been an eight. Okay, anyways. I feel like it's actually pretty good for my Turing style. It's not too fast or effortless, which is great. So I'm going to go break this in, and I'll get back to you once I've... Uh, done a few solves and broken it in. All right, see you guys. Okay, so this cube is amazing. The Angstrom setup definitely makes the cube more suitable for me. Now, let me compare the original RS3M to the Angstrom RS3M. The feeling of the original RS3M felt very papery smooth, which is pretty much the best and only way for me to describe it. For the Angstrom version, the cube still maintains a slight papery smooth feel, but due to the lube, it also has a slight silky smooth feel, which I like. Now one big thing that sets these two cubes apart is that the Angstrom version feels just a little heavier both in just general weight and turning effort. Now, is that a good thing? Definitely for me. As well as the Angstrom setup that slows down the cube, the magnets also play a huge part. Okay, so the original RS3M felt very light, 
and the magnets were so subtle. I thought that I would be fine with it, because I thought wig magnets would help me turn fast, but it caused one problem. Because of the weak magnets, I was getting quite a few lockups due to the layers not aligning, which definitely affected my solves. Now with the Angstrom version, the cube comes with an extra set of magnets placed inside the cube, and this definitely gets rid of the problem. And now I don't get nearly as much lockups as I did on the original RS3M. Now this cube is great, and actually has potential to become my main. And this cube does have potential of becoming my main, and this could be a contender for my main. This cube is my new main. Finally. <sighs> I hate saying that. But I guess it's true. I'm actually getting great times on this cube. I mean, I even broke my PB single with a last layer skip, so I don't know if I should give credit to the cube for that. But the next day, I got a 522, which is my PB2, so I guess I can give credit to the cube for that, so yeah. Okay, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and also follow me on Instagram at CatTheCuber. Thanks for watching guys, bye. Okay, okay. Fight. Fight.